Well, welcome everybody. We're here in Monterey still. Landed here yesterday in a really nice 55 minute flight up from uh, John Wayne Orange County. So we're in Monterey, California, KMRY, Kilo Mike, Romeo Yankee. And we are going to Vancouver. Uh, Windsor uh, out of the east in Vancouver at this time. So the plan is to land at runway 08 right in Vancouver. Islandish frequency there's 109.5. Runway length 11,500 feet. That's music to my ears. Airport elevation up there is uh, 14 feet and the uh, minimums are 209. So I've made a few notes about our planned approach and so forth. One big development uh, I finally figured out um, camera assignment for passenger view and so forth. So check this out. Right window, right wing, left window and wing. And apparently somebody texts it. Looks like there's a child actually out there. <laughs> and he appears to be headed right at me. Okay. That is the, f look at how little that person is. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, uh, happy to have finally figured out uh, camera assignments for uh, window views because that was a big pain in the butt having to do that by hand. Anyway, we're going to do part one, part two. This is a, oh, I don't know, 750 miles or so up to Vancouver, a couple hours. Back to the NVIDIA software again, the Xbox software. Again, I like the video quality, but uh, I'm noticing static and things like this that appear. So even though the file sizes are much smaller and therefore much more convenient to upload, um, for now, I'm going to use part one in this episode of our startup taxi takeoff departure from Monterey. So we'll keep it short, but let's get started uh, with our startup procedures. First and foremost, we'll uh, fire up the batteries. Pause system test. Okay. And we'll do the APU. Release our parking brake because I assume they're going to start to push us back. ATC, I've kept it for this flight. It was work, It worked yesterday. Let's see how they clear us up to. Fourteen We're going to do 2,000 feet above the assigned altitude just because of some issues that arose yesterday. Calibrate our altimeter, 3024. Speed bugs, VY is 195. PFD settings, wind option 2. Nav source FMS. There we go. We're getting pushed back now. Fido heat's on. Recogs. APU's now at 100. Yes, it is. We'll do right engine. Wait for that to spool up as we get pushed back here. Running through my checklist here. Flight directors on. Speed. Set that at MAN. 195. Set. Bearing 1. GPS. Sounds like our left engine's spooling up nicely. I'm sorry, right engine. A lot of plenty of gas on board. I am using real fuel consumption now that the latest patch fixed that. I'm anticipating we'll have to deal with a roll oscillation bug, which has returned with the latest patch, but you won't see that because that's going to be during cruise, and this is just part one of our startup. Do one notch of flaps. Looks like our right engine is good. We'll do our left engine now. Make sure that's spooling up. Yes, it is. Our taxi light on. Any collision lights. It's Christmas Eve. On our way to Canada. 
Left engine's coming up nicely. Monterey ground Cessna November 343 Bravo whiskey with golf ready to taxi IFR. Get our timer ready. We'll set our minimums now while I'm thinking about it. Two. They say it was. 209. Do the ILS frequency in a minute. Not in a minute, but when we're getting ready to begin our approach. Okay, we've got both engines spooling up nicely now. And it looks like our startup procedure is completed. Just need to set our VS. See, this controls, you can see the when you do change this, you see how this moves? Okay. All right. Zoom in a little bit here on our MFD just so we can see the airfield a little bit better. Okay. Turn off the APU. Um, yeah, in addition to the roll oscillation bug, there's also an issue with the rudder pedals. Um, I tried to recalibrate them on the setup page. What was happening when I used my rudder pedals is I would deflect my rudder to the right and release it, center it again, but it would stay deflected. Uh, so I had to use my flight stick for rudder control instead. Let's see if that's still a problem. This is the rudder right here. Oh, still not fixed. You see how it's staying? Having to use... Having to cancel out whatever input I use with the opposite direction. That's not going to work. When I use the flight sticks rudder control, it's perfect, you see? Very precise, very specific. So, that's fine. But I still need the rudder pedals because I can control my brakes from there. Yeah, the brakes are fine. Just don't have rudder control since the latest patch. That's annoying. But it's the ultimate first world problem. That's also annoying. The camera repeatedly defaulting to auto. Uh, but anyway. Oh, boy. <laughs> Reset that. Okay. Enough chatter. Let's uh, just look outside real quick just to see where they want us to go. Okay, so we're just going to taxi to the right. This is a way better parking place than last time. Yesterday, they put us way out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's go. Still have to put my feet on the pedals for brake purposes. just can't use the rudders to steer. I can't use rudder pedals to steer anymore. Thank goodness I still have this, I don't know what it is, probably 10, 12 year old flight stick. I'd be shit out of luck if I didn't have that. I ain't holding anything. says that we're headed towards runway 10 right, but that's still incorrect. We're not headed towards runway 10 right. We're headed towards runway 28 left. Basically taking off in the opposite direction we landed in yesterday. Which is interesting because there's a, a that means we're going to be taken off with a tailwind. If you can see here, we're headed into the wind right now. So in theory, that's the direction you would take off in, but they told us to take off from 28 right, so, I'm sorry, 28 left, so that's what we're going to do. That guy just backed into us, no big deal. Anyway, so between the weird roll oscillation, which is frustrating, and the 
rudder pedal's not working, you know, I guess it's not the end of the world in terms of bugs that result from a patch, but those are two significant ones. Beautiful day up there in Monterey today. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I couldn't believe where they had us parked yesterday. I mean, not only was it way, way far from everything, it was also on... The only way to access it was on these eensy, beensy, teeny, tiny taxiways that were obscenely narrow given the uh, size of this airplane. I mean, this isn't a giant airplane, but it's certainly a lot larger than the taxiways they wanted us to use to reach parking yesterday. Anyway, okay, let's uh, keep heading towards our takeoff runway. You can, again, just keep tabs on it over here on the MFD. That's us. Kind of fun to be able to have uh, camera views again. Hope that tailwind doesn't mess with this. It's not a significant one, three knots. I don't think it'll be a big problem. Okay. We'll stop at the bars. We'll get our clearance to enter the runway and take off. Brakes, toe brakes. At least these brakes still work. Okay, we're cleared. Monterey Tower, Cessna, November 3, 4, 3, Bravo, Whiskey, and Runway 28 left, ready for takeoff, IFR to Vancouver. Cessna, November 3, 4, 3, Bravo, Whiskey, hold, short, Runway 28 left. Traffic is generic on short, final. Really? Okay. Hold, short, Runway 28 left, Cessna, 3, Bravo. Where? I don't see anybody on short, final. Who is on a short final? Oh. I hear him, but I don't see anybody. Somebody just declared a missed approach. Is it that guy? Well, anyway. Can I have my clearance now? Okay, here we go. Cleared for takeoff runway to eight left says the November tree four tree Bravo whiskey. Sorry. Parking brake had to be released. My bad. Approaching runway two eight left. Entered runway two eight left. Okay, let's go. Rudders don't work, but tow brakes do, so we'll use those to the extent we need to. Like now. Okay. Alright, we'll sink our heading bug. It's kind of a weird departure today, as you can see. Actually, actually, no, it's not weird at all. It's completely straight out and then a gentle right turn. Sorry, I was confused there for a second. Start our timer. 
Next time you see that, hopefully, we'll be uh, getting ready to do our part two descent approach and landing at uh, Vancouver. Make sure everything's good to go here. Yes, 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 yes. Tail flood, sorry. Okay. Zoom out here slightly. All right. Let's go. Airspeed's alive. Already 80 knots, 100, 120, 130, 150, and rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Flaps retracted, autopilot engaged. Auto throttle engaged. One three three decimal zero for Cessna three Bravo whiskey. That went great. Norcal departure Cessna November three four three Bravo whiskey is at one thousand seven hundred feet, climbing fourteen thousand feet. A few window shots here. Nice. November three four three Bravo whiskey Norcal departure continue as planned. Sweet. There's our shadow. That's awesome. Look at the beach. Screenshot. Whoops. First the wrong button. Damn it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get back in the cockpit. Switch over to FLC. Set our airspeed 240. Well, kill those landing lights and it's like a nice stable climb out. Going to one two seven decimal four five Cessna tree Bravo whiskey. So we'll uh, conclude part one here. Cessna November tree four tree Bravo whiskey is climbing through seven thousand five hundred feet or fourteen thousand feet. And I'll have to babysit this until we get up to our cruising altitude, but I'll give you an update when we start on part two. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed! <laughs>